Wait a second there, fellas. What's going on here? First of all, uh, Noah is Noah's in New York, so we have replacement Noah for today. Uh, we'll just effectively have him play uh, the AI for us. Um, <clears throat> what's the deal? What's going on today? We're going to be having exactly what the title says. We're going to have ChatGPT uh, tell me what to animate and exactly how we're going to animate it and just listen to the recipe and see what the hell comes out the other end. Um, we're going to have it even give us like the color palette, uh, the overall like final goal of the animation, whether it's like a logo animation or a transition or something like that. Um, and that's what we'll be doing. It's going to be fun. Uh, I will effectively just be the AI's liaison in terms of interacting with the actual programs and things. And we're just going to trust it and see what it does. Uh, and so with that in mind, let's go ahead and hop over to ChatGPT, shall we? Um, you'll notice Noah is here with us as well. <laughs> uh, maybe he'll join by audio or something at some point, but he had an early flight this morning. That's also why the show is a little late this morning. So I apologize for that. But we're here now, and it should be fun. So let me just run you run you through what I already did uh, with chat GPT here. Um, okay, here we go. So I told it that it's playing the role of motion design bot. Uh, its goal is to help its user, me, an animator, through a short animation that I can complete within an hour. Uh, I will require a goal final animation, a color palette, including the hex codes. I'm hoping it gives us something absolutely disgusting. Um, a music track suggestion and a scene by scene like storyboard motion script breakdown of what should happen um, throughout the final animation. Uh, and there should be at least two scenes. Uh, it said it understood that, whatever. And then I was like, do you think that there'd be anything else that would be helpful to include in that list? And it was like, oh, we should also think about the target audience and the overall tone and style. So I was like, okay, you couldn't go ahead and include those. Uh, so it included that for me. It gave the final like list of things. Uh, and then I was like, okay, phase two, you're going to have to give me a step-by-step -step instruction list like I'm baking a cake here, uh, be it like in Illustrator and in After Effects for designing and animating uh, as for what's going to go on here. So let's go ahead and initiate, initiate phase one. And we'll have it go through and give all the requirements, okay? Oh, here we go. All right. So far, failing in not giving me hex codes. Oh, just kidding. It gave them to me. <laughs> I doubted it too quickly. My mistake. So sorry. Uh, anyway, what fun. What fun. Here we go. It's getting through it. It's getting through it. Get through in a second. This stuff is wild to me. I, I wish that I had GPT-4, like the, uh, the plus uh, version of this. However... I simply cannot purchase it. It will not allow me. So there we go. Well, Garrett says, Noah, you changed your hairstyle. Uh, let me ask him real quick. Yeah, I I love my hair. I I love it. That's kind of full of himself, honestly. It's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, here we go. Let's see what this, let's see what it cooked up for us, shall we? So today we are going to animate a logo animation that reveals the logo and tagline in a creative way. I don't know what that means, so we're gonna push it on that. Uh, except I guess it tells us here, so we'll figure that out. Okay, color palette uh, should include three main colors, a primary color, a secondary color, yes, of course. Okay, and we even got an accent color, that's fun. Omri says, why won't they let you purchase the plus? It just keeps declining any card I use. And it's not any like fraud protection thing, it's just not letting me buy it. I don't know why. Um, and their support is super slow, it seems. So it just won't let me, I just, I'm just kind of stuck for now. But this works, thankfully. Uh, music track suggestion, a cheerful, upbeat, instrumental track that is approximately five seconds long. You know, all those music tracks that are five seconds long? Sure, we'll find it. Uh, what up, Kenshi? Glad to see you. Kenshi says, hi, Austin. Noah, Noah looks very nice today. I agree. He's looking, he's looking his best right now. Um, here's the scene-by-scene scene breakdown. All right. The animation starts with a blank screen, a white circle appears in the center of the screen and grows to fill the entire screen. So then what color is blank? If we need to have a white circle show up and... Okay, got it. As the circle grows, the logo and tagline fade in from the center of the screen. Scene 2. 
The logo and tagline are now fully visible on the screen. The circle from scene one shrinks down and disappears, revealing the logo and tagline in full color. Was it not in color before? I guess not. Uh, the logo and tagline bounce and jiggle in place for a few seconds before fading out and disappearing. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Thankfully, I don't have to think through any of this because the AI is going to do it for me. Thank you, ChatGPT. Very nice. And on that note, let's go ahead. I just got to know what these colors are first that it chose. So let's pull up our illustrator real quick. Hold on. Let me move back over here. Uh, so that I can get that open for us. And there we are. All right. Uh, so let me get my color palette here. Here is our first color. One second. 1A, 1A, 1A. All right. It is dark. That's fun. Our secondary color is an it's an off-white. I am so glad that unlike a lot of corporations, uh, ChatGPT knows not to use full black and full white because those colors are scary. And our accent color. None of what is happening here? Do you get did we read what it said? They said the primary color should be a dark shade, such as navy or black. Uh okay, actually, never mind. It did it did set my expectations. I was thinking that the accent color was gonna be navy and it just threw in a yellow, but that's okay. Alright, so black, white, and yellow is what we're working with. Let's make that happen, shall we? Uh what's up, ZYX? Glad to see ya today. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. What a fun time this will be. There's our color palette. I'm just gonna have that off to the side already for us. See, pal. Whoops. I got caps lock on. My mistake. All right. Now we gotta figure out what these other things are. Because I don't know about you, but I don't know what logo we're supposed to animate. What logo should be uh, in the <laughs> logo animation? Please provide me with the logo you want to use. No. Uh, you tell me which logo to use. It's trying to put trying to put the work off on me. Oh, come on. Let's create a simple logo for the animation. How about we use the initials MD in a modern minimalist font as the logo? We can use the primary color for the letters and the accent color for a small graphic element like a dot or line to add some visual interest. Let me know if this works for you. This sounds amazing. What about a tagline? This is great. <laughs> this is gonna look awful. So we get to do logo design today too. Oh, they're making it for themselves. I was wondering what MD was going to mean and it's just motion design bot. Fantastic. Uh, okay, so we're gonna say MD and then we're underneath we're gonna put motion design bot. Or off to the side or something. Okay. I mean, here's where we go. Here's what we're doing. This is all we got to go with. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to just copy paste this uh, so we have it in our illustrator and can see it while we're working on this. Also, going to turn off my notification. There we go. All right. Give me the, give me the assignment here. Okay. Initials MD in a modern minimalist font. What font would work as a modern minimalist font? Let's find out. Okay, it says not realistic. The client would never respond this fast. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, nope, I don't want it to give me options. I want it to tell me which one. I mean, it's given classics right now. Montserrat, Gotham, Proxima Nova, classic. How many more is it going to give me? Oh my god. And it's telling me where I can get them. That's great. Which of those do you choose? All right, Montserrat. Here we go. Do I have Montserrat included? I don't know. Jordan says tell it to pl to role play as a cliché client for the rest of the conversation. 
I'll get there. I'll have it do a feedback round or something on itself. I think that would be fun. Okay. All right. We're using Montserrat and we're doing MD uh, because it's in all caps in here. That's what we're going to do. So MD. We're just going to make that real big. I'm going to give it some Montserrat action. And they said minimalist, so I'm going to go with a, a regular and not bold. Wait for this font. Okay, uh, then they said some sort of dot or line as a small graphic element. And they want, okay, so they want this color for the letters. And then they want the accent color for a small graphic element. So let's just do like a line that's the same width as this thing. Uh, but just underneath the logo instead. So I just need to figure out what stroke width fits here. Probably like a, well, now nah. go back to 11. All right, we do that and then bring that on over here. There it is. There is our, okay, you know what? I gotta ask what kerning should, uh, what should the tracking amount be between the MD on the font. I gotta know. Keep it relatively tight. Okay, negative 10 to negative 20. Oh, well, pff, okay, let's do it. I got it. This is easy peasy. I don't have to think for anything now. Uh, let's do negative, let's do negative 20. Let's just push it to the max, you know? The AI might be in charge, but I've got my own intuition as well and then we'll we'll just have it spaced like double the width of this thing so i'm gonna grab that real quick and say double the height please and that's almost where we had it i'm actually just gonna make this a rectangle now <laughs> okay boom there is our <laughs> There's our, there's our logo. <laughs> Let's go. This is great. I'm so excited about this. You know what? I'm even going to uh, hit create outlines on this because I'm not going to, I'm, this is the logo. It is as if it was given to us before. The tagline, they said, do we have that in this screenshot? Okay. Yes. Motion design bot and a complementary font style to the logo. What would be... The, uh, choose a font for the complementary font for the tagline. Which font? Which font? No, don't give me options. Why are they giving me options? Come on. Don't they know from this conversation already? I want them to just tell me what to do. Come on now. Is this helping y'all not be worried about your jobs as much with this stuff? <laughs> Uh, this, this is not going great so far. Okay, I suggest we go with Open Sans. Do I have Open Sans? I guess we'll find out. Uh, here we go. Let's do Motion Design Bot and set it to Open Sans. I don't... Is, is this really Open Sans? Guys, this is just this is just Fiverr 101 right here. But this is Open Sans, unless I have the wrong one from Google Fonts. Google Fonts. Let's look at it just to confirm. Nope, that's it. That's the font. So here, here we are. <laughs> How exactly did they type it out? Okay, it's all capitalized as well. Motion design. Bot. This looks like some real estate logo or something. Motion design dot. Motion design bot. There it is. We're living it up now. Oh, they and they said that the color should be the secondary. So I don't know how we're going to make this work because it wants it to be this color. But hey, the AI is in charge. So let's, you know, have it your way. Burger King. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create outlines on this too, just so that it's all fully baked in. There we go. There's our logo, everyone. Okay. What do we need to have happen next? Let's 
scroll back up here. Okay. Uh, we have the logo. Is there anything else that I need before we get started? I don't think so. I don't think so. Cool. All right. Initiate phase two. And then while we're waiting on that, I'll go ahead and just go to art list real quick. And we'll find that cheerful track that it wanted to use for uh, the backing track. Maybe like five seconds or something. So let's go to sound effects and then do, uh, what is it called? It's like logo or something. All right. We're going to find some, some fun, um, some fun, cheery, upbeat tracks. This one is exactly five seconds. I mean, this could be fun. Let me turn it down a little bit and then we'll see which one of these works best. That's an option. It's cheery. Uh, what about musical logo? That's 30 seconds. That's going to be way too long. Darn. All of these are just simply too long for the bot. It would be so mad at me if I did not do what it, what it told me to do. Oh, that one's fun. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do... Or... Is there another one that's kind of close? What about this one? That's not very cheery or upbeat. ChatGPT is going to be so mad at me. Ah. There we go. Hold on. What about this one? Yes. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys, but I'm going to just make a poll really quick between... Uh, number one and number two, which track? And I'll, I'll play them for you again, okay? Here's track two. Here's track one. Okay, track one. And here's track two. Y'all just let me know which one of those. It's really channel your inner chat GPT and just just real really think about what it would want. And we can just we'll go from there, you know. Um I think I think you guys might be right so far. I, it seems like one is getting a lot of attention compared to number two. Uh and that's okay. Uh, that's understandable. I whoa, oh, big swing for number two. Shoot. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no. This is unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. Oh dear. 50-50 split. Y'all. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god, at the last second. 50-50 split. Y'all, okay. One's back up again. There it is. Number one is the winner. Sorry to the fans of Essential Logos, Cartoon Boings and Wobbles. Um, we're going to go with Prime's logo, Woosh Wind Chimes. I kind of feel like this is fate because the AI can relate to this photo a bit. Um, so this is the one we're going to go ahead and use. I'll, I'll go ahead and get that downloaded and added to a folder for us. Um, somebody asked what site I'm searching for these sounds on. It's Artlist, artlist.io. Not a sponsor, uh, but... That's just what we use for most review stuff. Okay, chat GPT animates is what I'll call this. There's our sound. I need to save this file as well. Okay, chat GPT animates back here. All right, there's our logo. It exists. Now we need to ask it to initiate phase two, where it will tell us step-by-step step everything that we need to do. Here it is. All right. Whew. Open Adobe Illustrator and create a new document with the dimensions of 1080 by 1920 pixels. Oh my God, wait, hold on. I didn't think it was gonna have the logo thing included as well. Well, okay, I gotta make sure that we're properly doing what it asks. Uh, it wanted negative 10 spacing so we got to update this md to negative 10 just a second i jumped the gun i didn't i honestly didn't think the bot would do that 
Um, but there we go. All right, so we just need to make sure that the spacing is is proper. And it almost is. Almost. It's just like barely different. So we're going to grab each of these and just squish it in a little bit. Oop, there we go. All right, that's all good. We have done that. Uh, adjust the font size to fit your canvas. Make sure the letters are large enough to be visible. Don't you worry. It's already there. Oh, okay. Um, great. I'm so excited for this. Why does it want... Why does it... <laughs> okay. All right. What? Hold on. Oh my god. Is it not going to let me use... I don't, I think it got confused because this logo reveal is literally just making the logo <laughs> in Illustrator. That's not what the original scene was going to be, but my hands are tied. I must, I must obey our AI friend. Uh, let me just go ahead and get this. Let me go ahead and get this copied into Illustrator so I can just make sure we've got everything correct here. All right, so despite what it said before, you know, I'm just gonna save this stuff over here because this was my interpretation of what it originally said it wanted from us. Uh, but this is what it says to do. So we've got, we've got that proper now, but it, we shouldn't have this rectangle or these guys. All right, I'm gonna make sure this is what it, what does it say here? Adjust the font size to fit your canvas. Make sure the letters are large enough to be visible. Do you guys think this is visible? I feel like I feel like that's more visible. You know, that's just my my interpretation of the instructions here. Uh, using the rectangle tool, M, uh, create a rectangle that's slightly larger than the MD. Okay. So like that. Set the fill to white and stroke to none. Okay, there it is. Using the selection tool, select both the letters and the rectangle and align them horizontally and vertically to the canvas. Okay, there it is. That's done. <laughs> With the rectangle still selected, go to Object Clipping Mask to make, make to create a mask for the MD letters. This will create a white rectangle that covers the MD letters. That's already what's happening there, but you know what? Okay. Object, all right, what does it say? Object, clipping mask, make. Object, clipping mask, make. There it is, okay. Uh, export this file as an SVG or EPS file. So here we go. I'm going to export, export as an SVG as chat GPT animates. And there it is. It didn't tell me to do anything else, so that's what we're going with. <laughs> I'm going to hop back in here to get the secondary instructions. Let me zoom out just a second. All right. Here we go. I bet it's going to entirely forget about the audio and other things that we did here. Uh, but that is okay. All right. What do we do next, Mr. Chat GPT? Let me know. Open After Effects and create a new composition with the dimensions of 1080 by 1920 pixels and a duration of five seconds. Okay. Choose a color from the color palette provided. Example, E64242. I can pretty confidently say that that's none of the colors in the color palette. Uh, yep. I, so let's just go ahead and add that one over here. E64242. What is that? E64242. Nice! A random red color. I'm so excited. We're gonna be making like a McDonald's thing. I don't know. Okay. Uh, use a rectangle. To... Let's just get a preview of what we're gonna be doing here. Okay, here we go. Let's open After Effects and create a new composition. Let me uh, save the actual screenshot of this so that we can have it in After Effects as well. Okay. Uh, let me make sure I'm not going to accidentally show anything. One second, y'all. Pardon the interruption. 
Enter all daily motion show. Chat GPT recipe. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so we are in After Effects now, and we are going to make our 1080 by 1920 comp. It needs to be five seconds long, and I shan't do Chat GPT wrong. So let's go in here and grab our our recipe so we can make sure that we've got that easily readable. Here we go. Import the SVG or EPS file of the MD logo. All right, one second. File. Yep, it was a good thing I didn't have that shared. Sorry, I gotta make sure I'm not accidentally showing client things and all that stuff that I shouldn't be. Uh, okay, here we are. Where is my SVG, SVG at? <laughs> Why is it not showing the SVG? Hold on. Let me make sure that we exported this properly. File, export, export as. Yeah, it's right there. It's just not taking the SVG. So I guess I'll save it as an Illustrator file. Uh, and we'll just, actually the Illustrator file is already saved. So that works fine. Love that we're not able to use Overlord here. That's the most exciting part for me. Uh, let's do from that layer. Okay. What do we got here? Okay, it's there. That's good. Um, create a new solid layer by going to layer new solid and using E64242. Layer new solid. E64242. Okay. Yeah. Gotta make sure this is still up here. Uh, using the rectangle tool, create a rectangle shape that covers the entire canvas, set the fill to none, and the stroke to a bright color from the color palette. Another one that was not included in the original color palette. F2A900, I believe. Okay. Uh, as far as what the stroke width is supposed to be, I don't know, but that is all right. F2A900. Uh, it's 32 stroke width, apparently, is what we're going with, thanks to After Effects. Uh, and it needs to cover the entire canvas. Let's make sure we've got that. Okay, that covers the entire canvas. With the rectangle tangle shape selected, go to Effect, Generate, Stroke. Okay, adjust the stroke width, color, and duration as desired. Uh, except we don't have... <laughs> This isn't, this isn't doing anything. What? Uh, okay, as desired? Sure. Um, five. <laughs> sure, five on that. That all sounds good. Uh, color and duration as desired. I don't see duration on here, do you guys? Wait, why is it got a, why is it angry? Oh, only supports 8-bit for channel color. Well, let me make sure that we're in that then. Okay. Go in here. It still do it still does nothing, it seems. Um Do I need to actually have the path selected to be able to do this? Or I, I'm just gonna try and understand this for a moment. Why? Okay, I, you know what? This is what ChatGPT is telling me to do, so this is what's going to happen. Drag the MD logo file onto the timeline, position it on top of the rectangle shape layer. All right, there's our Illustrator file. Got to make sure our little recipe is up here as well. Using the selection tool, adjust the position to the desired starting point. Uh, okay. Let's have it start here and then what does it say <laughs> uh, add a keyframe for the position property of the logo layer at the beginning of the timeline okay i can do that there it is uh, move the playhead to the end of the timeline and set it to the desired ending point okay let's just let's just bring it to the center shall we what do you want us to do next chat gpt 
Add another keyframe for the position property at the ND logo layer at the end of the timeline. Okay, that's there. Select both keyframes to, <laughs> for the position property and apply the easy ease in out expression to create a smooth animation. Boy, I can't wait to see how smooth this is. Uh, preview the animation to make sure it looks good and make any necessary adjustments. Boy, let's. Wow. I mean, guys, I think. I think we're in trouble here. I think AI is like, whew, just on the cusp of destroying all of our jobs uh, in this context. I, I couldn't make something that smooth on my own if I didn't have any of this or the color palette. Like, I don't, I don't know what you want from me. Uh, let's go back and see if ChatGPT said anything else. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to create a modern and minimalist logo animation for your project. Let me know if you have any questions or need further assistance. You know, I feel like the client got a little confused here. Um, I think we need to bring in another expert uh, in order to properly critique uh, the ideation here and just make sure that we're really pushing this thing as far as it can go. So let's let's have it do that, shall we? Simulate a critique of the animation and act as a very needy, overbearing client uh, in giving step-by-step -step feedback to make the animation better and more engaging. All right, here we go. Client, I've reviewed the first draft of the animation and have some feedback for you. See, it's doing exactly what I wanted, though. I, whoo, Gordo says wreck of the day. Yeah, man. Is it going to get any better than this? Probably not. I mean, I'll just let it fight with itself for a second while we just look at this. Now, I mean, it's pretty, it should be pretty obvious to everybody here, but I can break down, like, what has gone wrong with so much of this. Uh, it seems like... It just forgot like 75% um, 75% of what it originally told me to do. Like the original color palette we had kind of just threw it out the window. That yellow is pretty similar. It might be the same one. I'm not sure, but this red is kind of out of nowhere. Uh, we're missing the tagline. We're missing that dot or line that it asked for as part of the logo. It was going to have it like, remember we were talking about how I was going to just like have it come together. Uh, and just kind of like bounce for a while until it ended or something. And there's gonna be like this circle that masked to reveal the whole thing. Um, two of them, actually. It was gonna reveal once and then reveal it in color, which would have been hilarious considering that most of it was in black and white, except for like that line or something. But it just forgot most of that. And I don't think it had a plan for what to do with this rectangular stroke thing. And I think it got confused between the stroke effect that it told me to use and the actual just stroke that it could have animated on the shape. Uh, and then, of course, you know, just like a lot of people, AI doesn't know about easing and how to make things feel nice. So uh, we're, we're missing that. We have our easy ease, which is good, but it certainly doesn't do a whole lot more than that. Um, it also wasn't nearly as specific as I, I would have liked it to be. Um, and a lot of that is just in how I set it up, I guess. I could have been more specific with some things, but so could the AI. So there you go, stalemate. But let's see what it said in arguing with itself. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, here, we'll do some... We've got... Uh... Here we go. Okay, here's the client. I've reviewed the first draft of the animation and have some feedback for you. And motion design bot is like, great, I'm glad you reviewed it. What are your thoughts? Well, the animation is a bit too slow for my taste. Can we speed it up somehow? Absolutely. To speed up the animation, you can adjust the keyframes in the timeline of After Effects. Try selecting all the keyframes in the animation and moving them closer together in time. Okay, I'll try that. Another thing, the colors are a bit too dull. Can we make them more vibrant? Sure thing. To adjust the colors, you can use the hue slash saturation effect in After Effects. Try increasing the saturation value to make the colors more vibrant. All right, I'll give that a shot. Also, the tagline font is a bit hard to read. Can we change it to something more legible? 
Of course. For a more legible font, I suggest trying out Roboto or Open Sans. They are both modern and minimalist fonts that are easy to read. Okay, I'll pick one of those. Lastly, the music track is not quite what I had in mind. Can you suggest something more upbeat and catchy? Certainly. How about Good Times by Inosi? It's an energetic and catchy electronic track that would work well with the animation. Oh no. Hold on, I think the client's dead. There we go. Okay, I'll give that a listen. Thanks for the suggestions. Can we also add some more visual elements to the animation and make it more engaging? Definitely. You could try adding some simple particle effects like confetti or sparks using the particle world effects in After Effects. Or you could add some subtle camera movement to give the animation a more dynamic feel. Sounds good. Can you provide me with step-by-step -step instructions on how to add those effects? Sure thing. For adding particle effects, you can follow these steps. Blah, blah, blah. For adding camera movement, you can try these steps. Blah, blah, blah. All right. I'll give those steps a try. Thanks for your help. Boy. I mean, whew. That was scalding. A scalding roast um, by, by uh, the client there. I like the idea of uh, motion design be bot being the one that would have created this, but telling the client to like go and do the changes themselves really real power move coming from our coming from our friend uh motion design bot there uh might not get a return client on this one i i just gotta say but uh we can remain hopeful now i don't know what some of the stuff is what is good times by inosi what is that that uh is that even a Wow, it's it's no copyright. That's really impressive. Uh, Good times in OC. Is it there? It's I can't find that track. What about this one? Oh boy, that's corporate. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and nab that. I guess. Uh, just a moment. Let me let me grab this. Oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be a banger of an animation, y'all. I am so excited. Uh, Motion Hatch says, just joining, are you using Klutz GPT? I wanted to see how well just normal GPT could try and instruct somebody else to do this outside of being able to actually act, to uh, actually interact with After Effects. So I'm just the liaison here today, no Klutz GPT. Uh, here we are. That's what's going down. All right, this is our this is our new track. Uh, it didn't say which part of the track to use or anything, so I'm going to just slap it into the timeline. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the bot on my other monitor just to make sure that I can still read it the whole time that we're working on this. Uh, but here we go. All right, back over to me. Let's go back into After Effects here and grab our sound. Here it is. I am not going to adjust its position at all because it did not tell me to do that. Um, let's make sure we get the first the first step out of the way. So, <laughs> of course, you know, client did the opposite of what any client would do and said, "Can we speed it up? N not not slow it down." I think that's the first time I've heard that in my career. So, how about we just like double the speed of the animation, then it's just gonna hang out there, you know? Uh, and then, okay, to adjust the colors, you can use the hue saturation effect in After Effects. Uh, try increasing the saturation value to make the colors more vibrant. So I'm gonna go ahead and interpret that we need an adjustment layer for that. I'm gonna add hue and saturation. We're just gonna increase the saturation all the way because it did not say otherwise. So for those of you that were shouting it out for saying that it was able to create a color palette that wasn't immediately blinding, well, uh, it has changed its mind, unfortunately. Now, I love that it says that the tagline is a bit hard to read considering that the tagline no longer exists here anywhere, uh, which is a little unfortunate. <laughs> but we're gonna make it work, it'll, it'll be all right. So on that note, uh, it says, uh, Let's find a more legible font. I suggest trying out Roboto or Open Sans. So I'll go ahead and 
uh, add that back in here. It's we'll do Roboto, uh, and I'll do the font that it told us to use, which is F5, 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 and the tagline was Motion Design Bot. And I'm just gonna make sure it's centered, and that'll be it because it didn't tell me to do anything else with it. <laughs> okay, on that note, um, I'll pick one of those. Lastly, the music track is not quite what I had in mind. Can you suggest something more upbeat and catchy? Don't worry, we already got it covered. It's such an energetic and catchy electronic track that would work well with the animation. Mm-hmm. We want more visual elements on the animation to make it more engaging. We'll Boy, do we have that. Don't you worry. Uh, because we're going to add some simple particle effects like confetti or sparks using the particle world effect. Uh, or you could add some subtle camera movement to give the animation a more dynamic feel. Thankfully, it tells us exactly how to do that uh, for each of those. So it wants us to make a new solid layer. Here that is. Uh, we're going to apply the uh, particle world effect. Uh, adjust the settings to create the desired particle effect. Well, as a human and not a uh, not a robot, I I don't have I have no no personal um, qualms with this animation. I have no idea. Um, but sure, we can we can mess with it. It says place the layer above the logo layer in the timeline. So it does, and it doesn't say where to move it. It just says to change the settings. So let's let's play this really quick. You know what? I have never honestly. I can't see it getting much better than that, but it did say to have it be more like sparks or confetti. Do these feel like sparks right now? This feels, it's, it feels like a little too many um, for it to be sparks, I feel like. So if we can figure out a way to maybe make those a, just a little different here. We want motion polygons. Now those, those feel more like sparks. Okay, that's, that's pretty nice. <coughs> Oh, sorry, I'm allergic to bad motion. Uh, anyway, uh, that feels pretty good to me. Uh, adjust the blending mode and opacity to blend with the logo animation. Okay, so let's uh, set it to an overlay I can't really see. What about hard light? Yeah, sure, that works. <clears throat> That's great. Now for camera movement, we have to add the following steps. Select the logo layer on the timeline. <clears throat> Go to layer transform uh where are we at here transform auto orient is what it wants from me select the orient along path and bezier options um boy am i excited about this use the pan behind tool to move the anchor point of the layer to the center of the logo oh it's there don't worry add a new camera layer to the composition now i never work with cameras so i feel like this is going to get terrifying uh, okay. Use the orbit tool to rotate the camera around the logo. Adjust the camera settings and keyframes to create the desired camera movement. Oh boy, am I excited for this. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is not good. Um, all right. Not really giving me a whole lot to work with there, Chad GPT. It's a little helpful, <laughs> a little unhelpful there. Oh boy! All right, here we go. We're just gonna we're just gonna play this and see what it does now. Um, nothing really. It's it's just moving the sparks around, which is really unfortunate. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna give it some position keyframes, like one here. We're just gonna like move that over there. I guess. Oh wait, that's the orbit. Yeah, I'm just gonna like move it this way. <laughs> then move it back over here. Woo! Guys, that's it. We did it. It's there. Wow. Never before has motion design hit a peak such as this. I like y'all, we should just all give up now, honestly. Is it gonna get any better than this? I find it hard to believe. Shall we just bask in the glory of this for a second? Let's do that.
I love, I love how much, um, how just serene this feels, you know? I, I'm gonna be adding this to my portfolio immediately. Please don't tell ChatGPT because I'm sure they want it kept under NDA, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my portfolio anyway and show it off to all my fun new clients and it'll be really neat. Uh, now, somebody raises a good question in chat. Christian Dominguez says, maybe that's what it can afford. Maybe maybe that's what ChatGPT could afford here. So you know what? We're gonna ask it what its budget was. Wonderful. What was the suggested budget for the logo animation? What will it say? I do not have access to information about budgets or financial transactions. Wow. Guys, bet you didn't know. It's reasonable to assume that the budget for this logo animation would be in the range of several hundred to several thousand dollars. Could you simulate? Can you simulate a more specific budget? All right, here we go. Woo! 500 to a thousand dollars, baby. We're having a, we're eating good tonight from this logo animation. And you know what? Now that all of you have seen it and I made it for you, I think it's safe to say that I, each of you owe me 500 to a thousand dollars for this amazing experience that we all just got to have together. Um, and you know, just to really get you back in the feels to understand like what that 500 to thousand dollars is getting you. I mean, does it get any better? Does it get any better? I couldn't possibly. Also, hey, not a bad rate for me. That was an hour and uh, was a whopping, you know, $500 to $1,000 day rate. Hashtag daily motion show on this thing. This is my wreck of the day. I don't even have another one. It's not happening. This is it. Now, that being said, um, I know what you all are waiting for. And it's happening now. Guys, so we got this submitted by uh, ChatGPT. Uh, it's this new up-and-coming designer. Uh, I believe this is their first logo animation for themselves. Kind of self-serving. But, I mean, hey, I appreciate the grind. Wanted to promote Motion Design Bot here on this Daily Motion show. So let's, uh, let's give them the crit that they're looking for, all right? Now, I don't know what client feedback they got or anything like that. I don't even know why they gave me the After Effects file instead of just sending me the export. Like, that was kind of weird, making me do a lot more extra work on this. Uh, but let's just, you know, I, ooh, mouse hover. That's like a second. It was like a second into it. I, you know, motion design bot. First, I would just say, I think you could shorten it up, maybe make this thing like a second, something like that, if, if that, you know? Um, also, I don't know if this is a more abstract approach. I'm just going to go ahead and mute your audio here because I don't really feel like it fits the animation that well. Um, it's an interesting, intriguing choice to put the MD on its side. But thankfully, you know, that means that like this logo animation works in both orientations. You can, hey, if you need to play it on a on horizontal, you know, you just rotate your head. There's the MD. And then you're playing it vertically and you're like, oh, motion design bot. Like I can read it that way, you know? It's very versatile in that way. Um, I also love the way that you're helping draw the eye uh, by this, this spark trail that moves around. So I like know where to look because as a person and not an AI like yourself, uh, I do have a tiny little monkey brain and need some assistance uh, knowing where to point my little eyeballs here. Uh, that all being said, Colors are getting a little bit close to McDonald's for me. Uh, also, the red is extremely saturated, uh, almost like you put an adjustment layer there uh, and just caused all mm -hmm. sorts of havoc. Um, it so seems sorry. like we um, have a, uh, a guest judge joining the panel. I'm so sorry, I just, I had to come in here. Um, you seem to be butchering this person's work. I think it's perfect. I, um, how dare you, sir? Um, yeah, no, it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. I think that you are just like, I think you're washed up, honestly. 
you've been looking at it for too long. You've How could I possibly here, be washed up? AI. I I took a shower this morning. I am You're bathing so in the up. sparks of the motion design bot. Does it get any cleaner than you that? See the loofah on you. You're so washed up. I, you're like you're like piece mm. of driftwood. That's how washed up you are. Frankly, I can't believe that you're missing what Good Times HD in chat is saying. That the fact that MD is so close to McDonald's and you are supporting this decision. You're you're supporting this blatant copyright infringement going on here. I can't let you slander beautiful work, whether it's copyright infringed or not. I you know, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna just leave it up to you guys. Put a, on, poll, put a poll. Is this is this exquisite? Is it a pass? Or is this motion trash? Pass or motion there, trash? Right Here we go. All right. Motion pass or motion trash. There it is. All right. It's up to you guys now. We gotta we gotta know what the people believe. Do they I believe? And I feel like that might be uh, kind of swaying the vote, personally. Okay. Hands hands right. off is great. Okay. Uh, so far, we are, are, we're seeing some votes coming in. Uh, the election is not over, uh, thankfully, because, I mean, let me just make my case here really quick. Let me, yeah, let me stand okay. on my soapbox and, me, and make my case here. Go for it. Uh, as you can see... This is the way that it is, and therefore, it is motion trash, in my humble opinion. You make a great point, but did you consider that the way that it is, is beautiful and doesn't need changing? I didn't consider that. You also make a great point. I feel like we are at an impasse here. Thankfully, <laughs> we have chat to vote and decide on this for us. I will give them 30 more seconds to decide whether this okay. amazing AI-generated content is motion pass or motion trash? You've got 15 seconds left. I expect an answer. A firm answer. None of this 50-50 nonsense. A firm answer in one direction or the other. And if not, we're going to be in trouble here, folks. Ooh. We are going to be in trouble. Time is up. And right, it got? would appear that motion pass by the skin of its teeth. 53%. Yeah. Motion design bot passes our first test and is victorious today. Not Taking motion says it's in my liking. Pass. Hey, you know, I, I did say, I, I mean, I know you came in here kind of hot and heavy trying to roast me, but mm. I did give it credit for being able to be viewed both horizontally and vertically and still have some understanding of the brand because you can get the MD sideways or the motion design bot sideways, regardless of which way you're looking, you'll know what's up. Uh, yeah, so I cool. guess I don't feel too bad about it getting a motion pass um, this time. That's fantastic. That's beautiful. And to me, that's boom toasted, I guess, because it, it would be a roast if it was motion trash, but y'all decided otherwise. So Yeah, we lightly toasted it. Unfortunately, uh, I'm, I haven't I've been on a plane. I'm curious where this little particle system came from. Um, did you ask it for like a random effect? You had to nope. use? it. I had it critique itself. I had it play a client that would critique the work that it gave the instructions that it told it to give me. And it had a whole exchange where it was like, we need more visual elements. Can you add particle particle system and a camera? Um, so what's the camera doing? Is what it's I'm moving doing. the particle system for oh, it some is? reason. Yep, that's. Oh, it's rotating around the particle system. It is. It told me to do it around the logo, uh, but the instructions that it gave me only moved it around the particle system. So, as Motion XP says, AI one, human zero. Uh, this might just be the last episode of the Daily Motion Show at this point. Uh, no one are gonna find new jobs. Uh, mine is going to be uh, begging for a job at Motion Design Bot. Uh, and hoping that they'll let me in. We can hope. We can hope. That's Conversely, this was also my wreck of the day. But, um, you know, it's just I can't decide how I feel this morning. It's okay. Yeah. No, I would wreck this as well. This would be my wreck as well. Well, you know? thank goodness. I'm so glad I could come in and be a little guest. I, I am as well. I really needed um, 
although I didn't like your opinion. Um, right. So <laughs> I am incredibly That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Uh, and on that note, that's the show. That's the show. Wow. Thank you guys you for hanging with me today and Noah and Motion Design Bot. We will chat with ChatGPT again very soon. Please, if you'd like to submit your work for critique, there's a link in the description to a Google form. There's also a link to join the review Discord down there as well. And use hashtag Daily Motion Show, just like Motion Design Bot, on socials when you post, and we just might, might wreck it. Wreck it.